Ladies and gentlemen, it's all kicking off regarding Leeds United. Which journalists are lying? Which ones are telling the truth? What are the clubs saying to these journalists? Who's coming in? Who's leaving? Let's find out today on Leeds United Transfer News and Rumours. All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're all having a fantastic day and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. Before we get into it, you guys know what to do. Smash that like button. It's free. Let's try and smash 500 likes. We smashed 400 yesterday. If we could hit 500 likes today, this guy remains smiling. Also, subscribe if you're new. Eight of you subscribe. We're at 16.2k already. We only hit 16k last week. What's going on? Thank you for all the support. And today, I want you to comment if we could sign one player realistic this time. Last time I asked you unrealistic or thingy, I want a realistic signing for Leeds United. Get it in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's talk signings. Let's talk deals on and off. We're going to start off with Sammy Schmodix to Leeds United deal off. Or is it? Who really knows what's going on at the moment? The latest was, well, as of yesterday, when I kind of spoke about the Sammy Schmodix deal, I've been saying all transfer window that I think Leeds United should get it. It's a statement signing. A lot of people are saying that, you know, on Twitter, he doesn't fit into the mold. It'll be a similar Joel Perot thing where we buy the best striker in the league who got the most goals and he doesn't actually fit in the system. Fair enough. But I'm a man who wants Sammy Schmodix, so eat one of them. Uh, but yeah, either way, it doesn't look like that might be happening at all. So it got posted by uh, people from Talk Sports saying Leeds United are in the race for him after Ipswich were close to advanced talks with Sammy Schmodix. And it looks like Leeds were trying to sort of gate crash uh, the, the deal there and get the signing of Sammy Schmodix. Ipswich had a £6 million bid rejected. Blackburn want close to £20 million, uh, But Leeds United you know, decided to chuck their hat in the ring and and get in the bidding process, I'm, I'm guessing. But apparently it's not, according to Adam Pope and Baron Cross. Sammy Schmodix isn't on Leeds United's list. And then even after this came out, Talk Sport Alex Crooks still came out and said, no, it, it, this is happening. Leeds United know when to bid. They haven't bid yet, but something might happen. So I don't know who to believe. And not going to lie, since Phil Hayes disappeared, I don't know who to believe. You know, I like Baron Cross. I like Adam Pope. These are all very close to the club. But Talk Sport, I know then, you know, they, they famously do break quite a lot of big stories. So I don't know what's going on with this Sammy Schmodick still. I really don't. As it stands for right now, the deal is off and he will not be joining Leeds United. That's the title of the video for now. But um, that, that's the latest on that. I don't really know who to believe, who not to believe. You know, people are still saying that since the, the new owners are more reliable journalists, have kind of been out of touch with the club. And that's kind of understandable. We're not really seeing any big transfer rumors or big sort of transfer activity from, from Popey or from, uh, you know, Baron Cross. And we'll have to see how this one develops. I want Sammy Schmodick. Some people don't. But also, as it stands right now, I'm going to say deal off. So don't get your comments in saying, oh, you said this. I'm just the middleman. Okay, I'm the middle. Leave me alone. Stop commenting horrible stuff. Next up, we're talking Harrison Burrows, left back at Peterborough. Now, this man's brilliant. 21-year-old. He's absolutely brilliant. It was only a matter of time before someone, you know, can't, comes in for him, really. At Peterborough, if Peterborough got promoted, he would have stayed 100%. But it looks like Sheffield United are going in for him until Leeds United hijacked the, the, the thing, the transfer. And Leeds United wanted him. And now, apparently, that's not true either. Apparently, Harrison Burrows isn't on Daniel Farker's list. Leeds United apparently don't need a left back, which kind of shows that Furpo will be staying despite the Real Betis rumours and links and uh, the whole Olympic stuff that he's now not, I believe, going to. So we'll, we'll see how that one uh, develops as well. So Leeds United were ready to hijack the Blades deal there, but now it's not a thing. Again, this is coming from different journalists, but the more famously reliable Leeds United journalists are coming out saying, Harrison Burrows isn't on the list. Sammy Schmodix isn't on the list. Leave me alone is what they're saying. Leeds United aren't looking at these two right now as it stands. But some journalists from TalkSport, from other companies are saying this is false. So it's a battle of the journalists and I'm in the middle of it, you know, sitting here. I'm just chilling. So that's what's happening so far. As it stands, Sammy Schmodick's deal off. Harrison Burrow's deal is not happening. Let's talk Somerville now. We spoke yesterday that he is off to West Ham or West Ham like the look of him. They put uh, an initial interest in uh, Somerville. We know this is the case. Also, Roma 
are looking to put a deal in for him as well. But they're looking, it's always the foreign clubs that are going for like 20 to 25 million euros. And then when it comes to the, the Premier League clubs or the English clubs, it's like 30 to 35 million. So again, who's telling Porky's here? How much is this man worth? I believe, you know, Somerville's worth 35 to 40 million easily. Leeds United, we know, do not have to sell Somerville since Archie Gray has left. We've been speaking about this the whole time. The only reason that Somerville will leave is because he wants to. He says, actually, yes, I want to go to West Ham. Then he'll have discussions with 49ers. Then he'll have discussion with Daniel Farker. Then Leeds United will want to accept a very high price. And we spoke yesterday that this is considered a very, very high price for Somerville that West Ham could actually shy away from. And like I said to you in yesterday's video, if you haven't seen it, they haven't just, they're not just going after Somerville, West Ham. They do want wingers. It's not just him. They're putting offers for many wingers last week. And Somerville was on their radar. Somerville is one of them. And he's got interest there. But Newcastle still like the look of Somerville. Liverpool and Chelsea. Foreign clubs too. Like I said, Roma are still interested. Rens are interested in Somerville. What do you guys think Somerville will do? Do you think he'll stay? Or do you think the young Dutchman, the flying Dutchman, should I say, will be leaving. But the latest is West Ham are the favourites right now. But then I've got a funny feeling some of them could stay. Don't clip this if he leaves. Next up, we're talking Nonto, another one that looks like he could be out again. We spoke yesterday. Apparently, he wants out. He's keen on a move to lead, uh, leave Leeds United. And again, it's so difficult because I watched the training videos. I watched the uncut stuff on, on Leeds United's YouTube channel. He looks so happy. He always is so happy. And it just annoys me that he's always planning on leaving. You know, he's awful. He's like a stomach bug. He's not staying for too long. But when he's here, you don't want him. No, that's a that's a poor analogy. We do want him. Uh, but apparently he's keen on a move. The deal's progressing. And it looks like Everton could be the next stop for him. Onana has just left Everton. He's joined Aston Villa. They've got some bunts there. Looks like they could be spending it on the little Italian Wilfred Nonto. So we'll see how that one develops in the next few days. And last but not least, a confirmed, pretty much confirmed, this is Fabrizio Romano saying that Cody Drama will join Hull. He's having his medical as of right now. He's not accepted a new contract at Leeds United. And it looks like the Tigers are getting themselves Cody Drama. Cody Drama, for me, had the potential, messed around with other previous managers, not really got the game time here. Every time he sort of played for Leeds, he was poor. But every time he went anywhere else, he was good. So good luck to him at Hull. You know, it's a it's kind of a similar promotion rival, a Yorkshire rival in that. And it looks like Cody Drama will be going there. So we'll see how that one develops. But that's from Fabrizio Romano. But ladies and gentlemen, just to run through one more time, Sammy Schmodick's deal off. Harrison Burrow's deal wasn't even a thing. Somerville to West Ham, latest. Nonto pushing for Everton. And Cody Drama to Hull, all but confirmed. Like I said, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, there's not a lot of news as of right now. It's a bit quiet. But it's also, who do you believe? Who do you believe? Do you believe me? I wouldn't. Smash that like button if you can. Be sure to smash 500 likes. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get to 16.2K and also comment a realistic signing. Who do you want to sign? Let me know in the comments down below. I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheery. Oh.